Hey everyone, Jason here. Today we are going to take a look at Crystal's latest model, which is this small sculpture of the World Turtle, also referred to as the Cosmic Turtle. If you are unfamiliar with the concept of the World Turtle, it's an idea shared among several mythologies about how the Earth travels through the universe, being supported by four elephants on the back of a giant turtle. Terry Pratchett also used this concept as the backdrop for his Discworld series of novels. So if you are a fan of fantasy novels, you may be more familiar with it from that source. One thing you might notice about this model is there is no crank on it, which makes it a nice clean display piece. And that is because the world itself acts as a crank. By spinning the world, you can make the turtle appear to swim. So let's take a closer look at how it works. The earth sits on top of the model and it has these mountains, a little forest here, a river to the waterfall off the edge, and this little settlement. Definitive proof that the world is indeed flat right here, folks. The earth is mounted on these two by two round bricks with an axle hole through them. And they just sit on this axle here at the center of the elephants to drive the swimming mechanism. So we'll take off these cute elephants and the back of the turtle to see what is going on inside. It's actually all quite simple, which it kind of needs to be to fit in this small space. There is a black gear at the bottom of the drive axle, which drives this tan gear. And that tan gear is connected to a small crank and piston, which drives the head of the turtle back and forth. The inside of each fin is connected to the head assembly so that they also move back and forth with the head. And the center of each fin is mounted to the base of the model so that they act as simple levers. As the inside of the fin moves forward, the outside of each fin moves backwards and vice versa. As a result, you get this nice little coordinated motion between the head and the fins, which gives the impression of the turtle swimming. As I was preparing to make this video, I was wondering how I would do the introduction. Since there is no externally exposed axle to drive the mechanism, there's no easy way to connect an external motor to power the turtle. But I did notice that there was just enough room in the back of the turtle to fit one of these old 9 volt micro motors. Now, one nice thing about these micro motors is that they don't spin very fast, which means you don't need to gear them down at all to drive a kinetic sculpture like this. Of course, there are some challenges with using these motors, aside from the fact that LEGO hasn't actually produced them in the last 20 years. There's no way to easily attach a gear to it. There's no axle or axle hole in the motor, it's just a LEGO stud that rotates on the drive shaft. So I had to get a little bit creative, but I discovered I could use this relatively new part, this one by one round tile with a bar sticking out of it. And there's actually enough friction between that bar and a gear mounted on it to actually drive the gear. Now I actually ended up using the transparent version of that part because it offers just a little bit more friction. And then we can just stick that part onto the stud of the motor and we'll apply some power to it. And there we go. I did have to modify the back of the turtle a little bit to accommodate the nine volt connector and the wire coming out of the motor but otherwise the motor nestles in there quite nicely. If you'd like to build your own copy of this model, there are building instructions available. You can head on over to jkbrickworks.com to find those. And that is about all there is to it. Like and subscribe if you like this model and would like to see more. As always, thanks for watching, keep on building, and I'll see you next time.